Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Week 2, Season 3 is underway for me. We are here to start the week off in the Arca Series at Iowa Speedway. Hoping that this goes better Can than when I ran push. Iowa All Speedway right, in the B Series. Gonna go out for qualifying. Found myself in the top split, uh, number 17 out of 24. My goal is just to try to get to the top half of the field. Uh, I would like to qualify somewhere near the top half if I can, and then just try to tire save, keep the car out of the wall, not spin off the corners, see if I can avoid any danger, and try to keep it somewhere there. So, go in, learn what we can. I think really, I know they say down to the well lines, the way to run for me. I just find my way somewhere around that first seam. Seems to be the spot where I'm comfortable. I'm just not very quick overall, so. Take what I say to heart. Second lap's usually faster for me. So we get a first lap in at least. This is basically middle of the field. Right where I want it to be, and we'll try to make this lap a little better, get a little loose there off of turn two, so let's see if we can pick up any time through three and four. Try to get on the throttle, see if I can get off of it without losing too much. Looks like we're gonna pick just a little bit of time up. about three quarters of a second and it moves us up to 10th which for here that's not going to be the worst place to be see uh, how that stacks up if it's going to stay that way although I would assume with just a couple seconds left we should be okay that's the end of the session right? yeah we hold 10th okay so we actually tied with the 18th wow um, still two and a half you know a quarter of a second off the pole sitter but those guys like I can get into the eights with trying to save tires, or at least feel like I'm doing a decent job saving tires. Um, I can get into the upper eights, barely cracking, you know, under nine, uh, 23.9, but I, I have no idea how those guys are getting into the sixes and sevens, so hopefully I can provide you guys more entertainment than, than lessons learned. Um, bit of a gap, but not a rific. The three probably had a bit of an issue, so I'm guessing he's going to come flying through the field. Nine's probably going to work his way through the field as well. Uh, nine's not connected. Okay, so that's why he's back there. So we'll see if he gets connected. But uh, I'll show you the garage really quick. Um, I ran it. Uh, it was a 10 to 1. I changed it to 12 to 1. It was minus 2. Changed it to minus 10. And it was at 65. I went to 63. So we're going to try that for this race. 45 laps. See what we can get out of it pull-up session the best lap I had optimal which was a lot faster I had to run uh, uh, league race in this and ran a lot is, better so chat down a little bit but yeah I don't know I mean outside's not not a bad spot to be it's definitely viable uh, for sure you can get really good runs off of there I, I think you can probably get yourself almost anywhere like middle outside or bottom probably could work I think as the run goes on and your tires start to wear uh, you're definitely probably going to lean on the right front a little bit if you're on the bottom too much, and you're probably going to end up moving yourself to the uh, to the middle and upper part. It kind of seemed to go that way in the, the B fix series, and I got a feeling it's probably going to go that way in this one too. So get our field checked, unchecked if we need to use the fast repair. Uh, if I can finish 10th, I'll be happy with that. Honestly, even if I can finish like 11th or 12th, I'll be okay with that. But the hope is that I can avoid any trouble, keep myself clean, do a decent job of saving tires, and try to work towards the front. I don't know if a top five is going to happen in this strength of field, but even if I could pick up a couple spots, you know, uh, a seven, eight, something like that, I'd be, I'd be pretty happy with that overall. Certainly do enjoy Iowa. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Just, uh, yeah, struggling to, uh, the car feels a little loose to start, um, but that probably is more or less me overdriving it, getting onto the throttle too hard, coming out of the, the center of the corner, so I'm sure it's actually a, a pretty tight setup. But we'll see what we can do. Get ready to roll here as we're on the back stretch. Pace car be pulling off this time. It's gonna be second gear start really fast people up ahead so I expect them to pull away and we've probably got a couple people that are gonna want to push early on which probably elect to just let them buy let them burn up their tires early on okay Jake get ready Let's see what we're gonna roll. 
we are off and rolling. This car's kind of going everywhere, so we're just going to stay to the high side right now. A little bit of a gap going into turn one, but the eight's down low, so we'll see where the eight and the seven are going to go. Almost three wide behind us. Just going to give us a little bit of room, and you can see we got a big pack up here, too, so we're going to watch for people losing it off the corners the first few laps. It can happen at any time, but going to push too hard. I don't want to lose touch with this front pack, but I'm not going to be looking to drive crazy hard right now either. Just kind of feel everybody out. You can kind of see a mix of lines. The lead has just done a 24.07. The car in front has just done a 24.07. Seven kind of Get sent up the track a little bit there. Let's see if he's a little bit slower off the corner. Yeah, we got a lot of quick people around here. It gets a little wiggly off of four as well. Just gotta make sure I keep it out of the wall. It's the 18, the 12, and the 19 are battling back there, so we'll let them hopefully keep running side by side. It'll allow us to try to get a run. They kind of. Throws it up there. It's a bit of a block, I think, but I don't know. He might have apologized for it. We're just going to stay inside of him down the front stretch. He'll get the run on the outside. You'll see him pop back up there. So I really want to deviate my line too much. So make sure I get the car slowed down enough into the corner, not lean on that right front too much coming out. Really, the front three or so have broken away quite a bit and then you've got big difference there behind um, outside line definitely gets the momentum it's like a lot of people are starting to run kind of that middle area where I've been just kind of sitting behind the eight 18 and 12 are starting to close up but I think they may be looking to push their tires a little bit harder they may fall off. We're only six laps down. We've still got 39 to go, so long, long way to go. Plenty of time for people to ruin tires. I think it's a little wiggly again off of turn two. As long as he can stay close to the two, the two doesn't fall back too far from the seven. I'm okay with where I'm at uh, for now until we start getting under attack by the 18, the 19, and the 12. These guys have been pushing it hard. You see the 18 drives it in pretty hard, which I got a feeling can't be great for his tires. If they start diving underneath, I'll move up. Just kind of hold the top line. Got almost three wide back there. 18's going to try to get a run on the high side. See if he dives underneath us. Looks like that's what he's going to do, so move up a lane. Let him slot in behind the eight. He's going to be to our inside now. 11's trying to work his way up. He's still there. He's still like there. I said, I think these guys are probably going to end up going backwards later on in the race. Unless they really know something about saving tires. Which is certainly possible. It's even somebody like the 18 or the 17. 19, they're probably not that low of high rated drivers. I'm at a 2800 and, you know, I'm car number 17, it's going to be somewhat decent feel for me at least. We're back one spot from where we started, but no big deal. Just in tire saving mode right now. Try not to get on the throttle too hard in the center of the corner, over rotate it. Not even going to be a quarter of the way done yet this time by, so these guys that are pushing hard. So we'll see how it works out, but I'm not really trying to run side by side too with the uh, 18. He's going to drive it in hard, slides up, pushes in front. I have to brake. Avoid him driving into our left side. It's going to allow the 11 to get by us as well, so I know with the way the 18 is driving. Certainly not helping his tires. 11 gets into the side of us. 
Whatever, we'll let him go. It's gonna put us under the tax wall. He's gonna be behind us as well. These guys are just driving really hard with not too much care of where I'm at in relation to them. Turn the chat up in case they you know, actually want to say something, but I get into the wall like an idiot, so that's gonna hurt us. We're gonna go back. Hopefully, I didn't damage the car too bad. Well, you can see these guys are all just pushing hard. Not really caring where I'm at in relation, but of course, I did it to myself by getting into the wall. Back to 17th. It's going to be tough to crawl back from that and get back to 10th. Wow, the 3 makes a big move in front of the 21. I I, I mean, he was technically clear, but that was certainly a bit more aggressive than I would have liked to have seen on lap 14. The one's getting loose. May have to try to get by some of these guys if I can still save tires and do it. Because if I stay back here too long, I'm never going to be able to catch up. Top 10 is the only goal right now. And that's not looking as likely as it was before I got into the wall. Try to pull away from the 23 at least. Create a little bit of separation. That lap was a 24.69. One gets himself up pretty high. We'll see if he gets a run off turn two. He's still there. Keep digging. Stay still low there. with him being on the outside. Try to slow down a little early to make sure I don't get into him. He's going to get the run off of four. Keep it together. Pull your line. Pull to the inside. Keep still working there. him. Still there. Well, that was at 24.74. Still there. Let's try not to overdrive the entries into the corner. He's still there. There. All right, able to clear up 21, so it's a pass for a position. I know that didn't treat my right front as well, but now the goal is to try to see if I can start following the three. That was 24.78. 21 almost drives into the back of us. He gets into the corner pretty hot. I kind of overshot the corner a little bit, trying to make that outside line work since they made that mistake. 23 is going to dive inside the 21. You see the 21 drive it in hard again. Both of them do, so we'll see how much time we'll gain from them coming off the corner. About four tenths of a second back behind the three. The three is sitting behind the 16 right now. 21's continuing to drive it in deep. So we'll still, we should be able to hopefully open up that gap a little bit. We got three tenths right now. The longer he continues to do that, the more it's going to hurt his tires and we'll open up even more. So we picked up a tenth there. 16 and 3 are going to go side by side. 3 is going to go on the outside. Almost contact. Keep them coming. Let's see if we can try to work close enough to get to the outside of the 16. I don't know if it'll happen. Nope, not quite there. So, looks like the outside was the way to pass the 16. We'll see if we can try to do the same thing to him that the three did. So which way he's going to go through one and two. I want to pinch myself up against the wall and get into it, but got a gaggle of cars up ahead in forward position. Got some side-by-side. -side. 16th place. I feel like I'm still just managing tires, kind of riding around. So front three are gone. Everybody else is kind of tight. We're working lap 22, so approaching halfway. Hopefully soon we'll start seeing a little bit of a difference in tires. Some people falling back. Might still be a bit early for that. We're certainly pulling away from the 21 and the 23. Lap times are falling off a little bit, but I'm trying to keep it as consistent as I can. It's out. Stressing out the right front too much. Definitely feel the wear. Got to wait a little longer to get in the throttle in the center of the corner. Be halfway done this time by 23 down, 22 to go. Reese pulling away a little bit from the 16, but just not quite okay, able to Jeff, catch him yet. We've got plenty of fuel. But like I said, I don't feel like I'm driving it terribly hard, so. Probably in, I don't know, five to seven laps or so, we'll start looking at pushing a little bit harder to try to make up some time. Seems like a lot of people have started going up higher through the corners, especially there through three and four. If 
I can get a run on the 16, may try that high side. See if I can get around him like the 3 did. He sends himself up high now, so we'll give him the advantage out of turn 4. Get a little loose there, but we're still catching up to him, pulling away from the 21. Trying to do what I can, we're working on the 16 slowly. He's not really making too much progress, he's got the 8 and the 12 up ahead of him. 16 pushes wide out of 4. Still gonna get that run though, I tried to cut down underneath him. I think he knows that the outside line's the way to go, so he's trying to block it. Now we'll see if we get the run here out of turn 2. Not quite able to. Cross under underneath, going into 3. I don't know, this one's going to be hard to complete because he's going to get a big run out of turn four. And I get way loose down the front stretch. Yeah, this pass is going to be a lot tougher than I hoped it would be. The three just has a lot more speed than I do to be able to execute it quicker. Just set up another run, 16 gets a little loose. That would have been the time to have been closer to him. Could have easily taken advantage of that. Get ourselves back to the inside line to try to get the run. Just got to work on closing back up to him before I can make a deviation in the line. So lesson learned, do not get yourself into the wall like I did. And you won't have all this to deal with. 16's falling back from the 3, so it's time to move. We're going to have 16 laps to go this time by. I'm not looking to kill the tires, just trying to get by him if I can. So we certainly have the pace. Gotta find a way around him. He keeps going low there in turn one and two, so if I can stay close to him in three and four down the front stretch, I can work that outside. Probably get stalled by the 12, but do what we can. I got my top 10 sitting right in front of me if I can get by. Everybody, but even if I get to that top half, I'll be happy with that. It'll be a good recovery for getting to the wall. Just keep waiting to see if the 16 is going to get in the wall. He keeps drifting up. He's still there. Clear up high. Yeah, on right side. That was clear. On your right. Sorry about that, 16. Not mean to get into his left side door like that. Really gotta get going because he's starting to fall back a little bit from these guys. He's only staying close because they're running three wide, two wide, and we've only got 13 to go. So it's time to start looking to get around him. I just can't make it stick to get the run on the outside. Kills all the momentum down the back stretch. Oh, we got a spin. Eight's going around. All right, so we're gonna get most of those spots. Three's likely gonna get back by us. I'll take free spots that way. Uh, it pretty much kills any other spot we can get, but that'll work out for me so far. Sixteen's almost getting to the wall. He's doing a great job keeping it there. Three's likely gonna go back by, so. Should be 11th right now. When the three gets by, will be 12th. Just gonna stay up top since the three dives it down. Try to work the middle off. Or we battle side by side. The more the 16 is gonna pull away, but I'll try to do what I can to get back to the 16. Let's see if I can pull the three off for a top 10. 11 to go, or 10 to go, excuse me. Lap car is going to kind of hurt the 3 a little bit, so it'll kill his run off and 2. Didn't quite set the pick with the lap car, but kind of played into my favor there. 16's getting loose in the center of 3 and 4. It's going to kill his run off. I'm not close enough to be able to do anything, though. We've got about a half a second to the 3. 
drive one there, get those bumps. Upsets the car. 16 slides up out of two. Close up. 16's doing a great job getting it right up against the wall, not getting in the wall. Try to take advantage of the run this time down the front stretch. Hold your line. They'll probably have the advantage on the outside. This is going to allow the three to close up big time, but I'll try to do the best I can. Still there. 16 cups on the outside. Cuts down the block to run a little bit. Three's closed up big time, so three's going to have the advantage. I just could not get by the 16. Some three dives at the bottom. Try to get to the outside of the 16 now. See if I can finally make this stick on the outside. I overdrive turn three. Trying to hold it off the wall, get the run out of four, get a little loose there. Drag race with the 16. He's going to work inside. He's going to have to be patient, keep working this. Hopefully the three gets stalled out. So we're going to have just five laps to go this time by. Got a little loose there out of four. Three unfortunately clears the 16. Faster than I did, so. Now is going to be the fun part of trying to hold off the three. It's going to be the tough part, because he's only two tenths back. All right, Jake. But I'm up for the challenge. We're going to try to do it. As long as I can keep it at two tenths, I'll be happy with that. His goal is to keep it consistent every lap. Oh, I almost got into the wall. I had the feather and it. it allows him to close up. Definitely trying to drive the thing off the right rear now. He closes up big time there out of turn four. You've just done a 25.22. Stay into the high side. He's trying to work the bottom on me. I have two to go this time by. So try to execute. The smoothest runs off the corners than I can, that'll prevent him from getting anything too big. Two, two guys. Just keep working the momentum on the high side, that's the only way that I have a shot to hold him off. Oh, I did the same thing again, he gets a little loose underneath me. Kind of benefited me. It's the second time I made that mistake. Way wide out of four. The white flag, we'll see if he can get the run now. Let's get a dive to the inside. We'll watch for him to slide up. There is the slide up, so I should be able to hold him off if I don't screw up three and four. He gave it one shot in one and two. Thank you to him for at least keeping it clean, staying off of me. Good battle three. That was a lot of fun. Tenth position. That's it. We're done. Glad to have held him off. Uh, Battled back for a top 10, so, you know, certainly recovered off of that terrible mistake of getting in the wall. If I hadn't done that, who knows where we could end up. Um, but, yeah, that was, uh, that was a lot of fun. That's kind of how I like Arco Racing to be. There's some lanes you could go. Uh, tire saving definitely came into play. You can see 7083 I lane on that right front, you know, too much, but you're certainly battling hard there the last probably 10 or 11 laps trying to get by, so. It's a lot of fun. Um, it's pretty early, so we'll take a look at the incidents. Let's see what happens. I mean, I'm not it's even below the second team, man. Did you even try to make that turn? He gets into the wall. Uh, uh, four. It's kind of like what I did. The five in the lead is going to get into the wall. A little bit of a tap there, not so much of a drag. 22 getting loose. He's going to get the wall going into three. He drags it big time into three. Yeah, it's not bad. It's kind of what I did. Uh, 11 behind is going to get the wall. Drags it, gets glued to it. 
23. The nice plaid color scheme, a little bit of a blink there. Seven's dragging the wall. Wall's definitely dangerous. Stay off of that. I mean, everybody knows that Narco, but it gets you. Ten gets it. Kind of drags it. Eight just slides up in front of the 18. That's what sent them around. And then 12 just piles into it. 11 kind of was on the button, didn't really have anywhere to go. Three, I almost thought I was going to get into three. We got cars flying everywhere, so. Yeah, that was uh, that was an interesting wreck, to say the least. But that obviously got me three or four spots right there, so got a big benefit out of that. 15 kind of cuts down. 22 just drives in hard, gets in the back. The 15 sends him around. 21's gonna get the wall coming out of four. Yeah, he wants to send his name on the Geico restart zone. He's gonna get the wall again. Going into one. I don't know, that was close. Not sure what happened there. 19, he's gonna get the wall off to two. Gets a little loose, just tags it with the right rear, and that looks like it, so. Let's see, uh, yeah, I guess it seems pretty reasonable for it. Some car contacts, but overall, uh, not bad. Glad we were able to get away with a zero X out of it, so we'll check the results. Hopefully we'll be able to see some positive gains out of it. It was the top split. There were four 35-29s during the field, so not anything terrible. Uh, managed to get the 0.4 bump, so we gained 0.3. Just with the zero X, 0.4 extra to get us up to 2.44, so trying to climb my way back to the A license. We'll see how quickly it can happen. And a little marginal gain for I rating 44, so not terrible. Um... Gets us just under 28.50, so trying to climb back there from what we lost. A couple faster drivers, or one uh, one driver behind us was able to finish ahead. It was the 19. Like I said, I probably could have been you know closer to like a 7th or 8th place finish had I not dragged the wall there. They got a little bit more pace than some of the drivers around me. Um, three was certainly faster. He just had, uh, had to check up a little bit more for that wreck that we were able to avoid, so... Uh, about three tenths off or so what the leader ran for a fast lap, and that looks like that was probably the fastest lap of the race as well. Um, had a bit of a hard time there on the outside off the start. It was pretty tough to, to get good runs. Uh, had a few laps there to try to get some fast laps in, but uh, you know we were, we were battling with everybody. The uh, couple of cars kind of pushed their way forward, and uh, looks like you know they got involved in those wrecks. I think the 18 was in it, 12 was in it, 11 was pushing away, so... Um, you know, not anything too bad that way, but overall pretty enjoyable race. I had fun with it. I definitely suggest checking this out. It's a pretty good time. And uh, feel free to leave any comments on anything you saw. Uh, the wreck, you know, if you got a different viewpoint on how it unfolded compared to what I just said. Uh, if you would have driven anything different line-wise or, you know, obviously don't drag the wall like I did. But I'd uh, love to just hear from you guys and hopefully you enjoyed that one. So until the next one, I hope all your laps are fast, your races are clean. And your finishes are good. Thanks for watching.